The reality of academy football. So the first thing we need to understand is that football clubs are businesses and players are assets to that business. Say for example, every player within an academy is a one pound coin. The reason the club sign them in the first place and scout them is because they think they have the potential to become worth more than that. Whether that means being sold for a profit or making it into the first team and being an asset for their club's first team. That is the only reason a player will ever be signed by a club. Now, unfortunately, the harsh reality is as soon as the club then decides they're not going to get a return on investment, so they think you're not going to make it to the first team or you're not going to get to a level where you can be sold for profit, that is when players get released. You can see examples of this going both ways. Ones where a player's been through an academy the whole way and ended up getting sold for millions and proved to be a great return on investment for the club. But there's also been the opposite happen where a club will decide to release a player, such as Jamie Vardy being released by Sheffield Wednesday because they don't believe he has that potential. And then they've gone on to prove the club wrong and go really far and really high within the game. So clubs don't always get it right, but it's a very cutthroat industry to be involved in.